Hi, I'm Heath Tarbert, Chairman and Chief Executive of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The CFTC's mission is to promote the integrity, resilience, and vibrancy of the U.S. derivatives markets through sound regulation. To that end, here in the CFTC's Market Watch Room, our analysts closely monitor derivatives trading every day. The real economy and the everyday Americans who are part of it depend on our derivatives markets to hedge their risk. Vigilant oversight of these markets takes on a heightened importance today. Major economies, including ours, are feeling the impact of the coronavirus. The spread of this pandemic has triggered a period of historic market volatility. And that's why I've pivoted the agency's resources in recent weeks to take this crisis head on. This new posture focuses on five main objectives. One, increased monitoring of derivatives markets and their participants. Two, using our regulatory framework to promote orderly and liquid markets. Three, responding swiftly to changing conditions with practical targeted relief. Four, communicating consistently and transparently with all stakeholders. And five, maintaining our commitment to advancing strategic policy goals. Let me explain briefly how the CFTC is meeting each objective. First, as it relates to increased monitoring of derivatives markets and their participants, we're engaging with clearinghouses, exchanges, and analyzing market activity. We're monitoring infrastructure that are essential to orderly trading. Think of it like making sure the pipes used by market participants to access our markets are working. We're also regularly checking on the financial resources and operational status of key market participants and intermediaries. This includes, for example, registered swap dealers and futures commission merchants. And finally, we're surveying our markets to detect and pursue potential misconduct. Second, we're aggressively using our regulatory framework to promote orderly and liquid markets. American farmers beginning to plant their spring crops must be confident they can rely on orderly and liquid markets to hedge price risk. In fact, it's especially important in times of immense volatility that our markets operate as intended. To ensure orderly and liquid markets, market participants must continue to comply with the CFTC's regulatory framework. The rules and principles underlying that framework were developed to promote resilience in both normal and stressed market conditions. They work, but only if market participants comply with them. And we stand ready to adapt these tried and true principles as needed to changing conditions. That brings us to the third objective, responding with practical targeted relief. The CFTC is committed to providing targeted relief where necessary on a temporary basis. Social distancing can create novel hurdles to complying with regulatory requirements written with centralized offices in mind. So we've encouraged registrants to talk to us about what relief and other assistance they might need. Those discussions have led to nearly a dozen actions that we'll take by week's end to provide added flexibility. Ultimately, firms must be able to support orderly and liquid markets in this challenging environment. Fourth, the CFTC has taken a number of steps to communicate consistently and transparently with our stakeholders. We remain in close contact with our fellow domestic and international regulators, with Congress, and with industry. We've also recalibrated our customer education efforts to warn customers of the potential signs of fraud during this period of coronavirus-induced volatility. On the home front, we're implementing best practices to safeguard the health and welfare of our employees. This includes social distancing and telework. Fifth and finally, we're gonna to continue to advance the agency's strategic policy goals. Sure, responding to market disruptions caused by the coronavirus will be our primary mission for now. However, we'll continue to work on the CFTC's strategic goals that pre-existed the coronavirus outbreak. Although we expect the way our agency does business may change in the near future, it won't alter the substance of that business. We'll hold virtual open meetings by telephone or video to vote on new proposals and final rulemakings. Yes, that means in the months ahead, we'll continue to pursue important rulemakings. In the near term, 
will propose an update to our bankruptcy provisions for the first time in 37 years, as well as enhancements to the quarterly reports filed by commodity-focused investment funds. In the medium term, we'll aim to finalize our cross-border proposals for clearinghouses and swap dealers, as well as our long-awaited capital rule. And yes, by year end, we'll also finalize our recently proposed position limits rule that is so important for protecting the agricultural and energy sectors from excessive speculation. We'll also continue negotiations with our European and other foreign counterparts to reduce market fragmentation and enhance international comedy. And we'll continue to bring enforcement actions against wrongdoers who break our rules. Finally, will continue to promote responsible innovation in the fintech and digital asset space. There's no question these are challenging times, but no matter what the world throws at us, the CFTC will continue to focus on its unique mission. We have a tremendously dedicated staff who are rising to this moment, and I'm confident the steps we began taking weeks ago to take on this challenge will leave the agency well positioned for the near and long term. For more updates on how the CFTC is tackling the coronavirus, please visit cftc.gov coronavirus. And thank you.